One of the most frequently asked questions uh, from salons and salon owners is uh, if the software has capability to ring up one sale, however, give credit to different employees for different items on that sale. Like let's say if you have one employee do one service like color, another employee do another service or sells another product and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course our software can accommodate that and uh, for the purposes later on assigning uh, tips or commission uh, these um, employees are all looked at differently in our software and everything is accommodated proportionately as uh, far as commission however you assign the commission to them and as far as tips however the customer assigns the tips to them the tip receipt will have all of their names and uh, the customer will have a chance to write down separate um, tip amount for each one of them. Uh, for this purpose what we did is we created another employee in the employee table so we can show you multiple employees on a sale like uh, previously we had John now we added Jimmy just uh, for an example now when you log in with John's uh, credentials with John's password uh, the software will show John's name on top in here so you know who is signed in right so now if I were to sell anything uh, it will all be credited to John uh, so now I will show you how that goes uh, multiple employees on one sale uh, let's say we'll uh, sell three bottles of shampoo we're gonna put quantity three and we're gonna go ahead and uh, scan a bottle of shampoo okay so the three bottles of shampoo were uh, put in here in inventory now let's say we want uh, the next thing to be a a service a color service let's say this all over uh, color service and we want that to be uh, created to the other employee we're just gonna click in here select change employee and uh, from uh, John we're gonna switch to Jimmy so now Jimmy is our current employee so now the all over color that I'm gonna process is gonna be processed under Jimmy um, <clears throat> let's say uh, in order to show you some more uh, tricks of this um, software I'm gonna scan um, another bottle of shampoo and let's say I'm gonna make a mistake and I'm gonna scan it by mistake right and obviously I wanna delete it so I'll select this row hit delete align and that's that let's say I want to uh, give a discount like a 50% discount to an item uh, what you do is you click the discount button as you can see you have three options in here the first two are for a percentage discount and the last one is for a fixed amount discount for a fixed amount obviously it will ask you what's the amount that you want to discount and it'll just put a negative amount on, on the bill um, for the first two for the percentage discounts uh, the difference is because you're taking out percentage from something difference is whether or not you want to discount the items that are processed so far like this uh, the shampoo and the coloring service or do you want to uh, uh, process a discount of an item that you're about to ring up now so uh, let's say for this uh, example we'll just go ahead and select the uh, first option in here a percentage discount the discounts each item at a, at a time as you process them so it's not gonna involve these already processed ones as soon as you click next it's gonna ask you what the percentage of the discount is let's say I'm gonna give them like 30 percent discount hit OK so now this button is grayed out meaning discounts activated at 30 percent so now everything I ring up will be activated with a discount of 30 percent so let's say I do another bo bottle of shampoo and that was processed with a 30 percent discount just not to be confused by this price in here on top that's much uh, higher that was for three bottles in here this is one bottle at a 30 percent discount now in order to if you have more uh, items to ring up and you don't want to give uh, the discount anymore in order not to give this discount anymore you gotta turn off the 30 percent discount that's done by simply clicking at the discount button once and that turns off the discount now we're going to show you what the custom item button is for. Let's say we have a, you know, we want to accommodate a customer that wants to order something we don't have in inventory, but we can accommodate them. 
uh, let's say we'll hit the custom item uh, button it's just asking for a confirmation in case we hit it on as a mistake and it's just asking for the name of the custom item let's say that's large coffee we already have coffee in inventory but we don't have large coffee description let's say large coffee custom hit ok it's going to ask you what's the sale price on this let's say dollar fifty and the tax so it's asking you the minimal uh, you know required stuff to, so you can make a sale so that's the custom item right now and let's say this customer will pay with a check so I'm going to select check as a payment method and as soon as you hit tender it's going to ask you what the check number is now obviously in here you can type in whatever or just ignore it but it's useful to type in the check number that way that check is always tied to that sale so later on if you need to look up something you know something goes wrong you just need to look up something you know that this number check number will be always tied to this sale in our software and now we'll show you how uh, it looks like to uh, have a returning customer that you've already entered in the database previously you can as we said before enter their first and last name and tab away to another field and the software will just enter every, uh, everything else or you can enter their home cell or work phone number or their email so any of those unique uh, ident identifying uh, you know fields let's say a home phone number is what we'll enter in here tab away and it fills everything out for you and then you can just update if you have new information to add we'll just do no, no changes because we don't have any new information to add to this customers records